I would now like to invite our special guest, Mr. Yashwan Shinoy, to deliver his address. Mr. Shinoy is an advocate with considerable experience and is presently holding the office of President Kerala High Court Advocates Association. His dedication to improving aviation safety has made him a notable figure, and his efforts have led to significant changes in regulatory practices and safety measures at Indian airports. He has remained the policy advisor and legal consultant to the regulatory authorities of Government of India. Mr. Shinoy also holds experience working with corporate legal team of LNT. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you. A very <coughs> warm good morning to Mr. Justice uh, Mohammad Mushtaq, Acting Chief Justice, High Court of Kerala. Justice D.K. Singh, Judge, High Court of Kerala, Justice Nikhil Carrier, Judge, High Court of Gujarat, Mr. Ratan Singh, Senior Advocate, Supreme Court of India, and Chairman of SEL India, Mr. Johnson Gomez, President, SEL Kerala, and Mr. Vinod Kumar, Secretary, SEL Kerala, the dignitaries of the dais and my dear friends. When this idea of conference was first mooted by Mr. Karia, I jumped at it. I jumped at it for a reason that it will give an opportunity to the lawyers, young lawyers out here, to get the first exposure on construction law as well as arbitration. I would not want to deal much with the construction part of it. I'll get into the arbitration side of it, in the sense that, as Mr. Ratan Singh pointed out, that we need to bring more uh, expertise, at least from the educational perspective. We need to prepare the next generation to handle these fields together. But thankfully, while interacting with the audience here, I found that there is a, a lady who has done a B.Tech, M.Tech, LLB, and LLM. So that kind of, that kind of expertise, it's, it's very rare to find. But I will point out something different. And that comes from a very simple perspective that why is India not a preferred seat of arbitration? Why is India not a preferred seat of arbitration? Leave alone construction industry, any other kind of arbitration as well. So what is it that makes people choose the seat of arbitration? The most preferred seats of arbitration is London, Singapore, Hong Kong, Paris, and Geneva. And for international commercial arbitration, it is New York and Zurich. So where did I get this information from? This is from the International Arbitration Survey conducted by the Queen Mary University of London. So why is it that we are not having this kind of arbitration running in India while India is actually a growing economy and you turn around everywhere construction is going on? You take this state, for example, its construction is going on. And trust me, where there is construction, there is arbitration. Where there is construction, there is arbitration. It is, it, it is natural to flow. It's very rare that you have a construction and no arbitration. So the choice of seat is usually made by a pro-arbitration uh, pro judiciary, independent legal system, and a track record for arbitral enforceability, the award enforceability. Now please let us take what has happened in the recent case of Delhi Metro Rail Corporation versus Delhi Airport Metro Express Private Limited. The Supreme Court reversed a decision in a curative petition. Now curative petition is extremely rare. Now let me put it, the arbitral award is passed. It is challenged in appeal to the single judge of Delhi High Court, an appeal to the division bench, an SLP to the Supreme Court, a review in the Supreme Court, and then a curative petition in the Supreme Court. Now please see, after an arbitration, we have had five levels, five levels of litigation. Now with this environment, with this environment, how many persons would 
choose India as an arbitral seat. We need to seriously think about two things, policy and training. And why is it that we, as a country, with this kind of population, this kind of economic growth, probably we will be, uh, by 2040 or so, we will be the top economy of the world. But still, why are we not attracting the best in this country? And that goes back to the policy making. And I'll point out that I have been working closely with the government in policy making. And I will tell you, there is something that seriously blocks our policy making. And you know what it is? Satyam bruyat, priyam bruyat, na bruyat, satyam apriyam. You talk what is sweet, what is good to your ears, but do not say truth which is bitter. So as a culture, as a culture, we do not accept any truth that is bitter, because of which our policy seriously suffers. Now, take New York Convention, 168 countries signed it, India signed it. Take India's every, every regulation that deals with international convention. You will virtually see the international convention copied into the regulations of India. That means New York Convention as it is. So if you're going to take an audit of survey, for example, I know aviation well, the International Civil Aviation Organization, take their standards, everything is copied as it is in the Indian regulations. That means on an audit of law, we stand top, number one. But please look at how it is implemented. That is where we fail. India fails in its implementation. So as policy makers, there is a huge Vacuum, And that is where I would prefer Mr. Ratan Singh to start addressing the policy makers. Because until and unless policy makers are made aware of the bitter truth about India, we will not be able to change policies. If we are not able to change policies, where is our youngsters going? Now, let me point out, I am so happy that uh, I have played my role in bringing this international conference to the state of Kerala. But we will also know that state of Kerala, when you look at the industrial setup in this country, we do not have industries. I'll promise you that we might not have a kind of policy in this state which will bring in industries. But I can assure you that the youngsters in this state, if they are trained well, they can be the names for the future. So when this conference was brought in here, and I thank Mr. Ratan Singh for that, I'm telling you, you will find those experts in this state, in this state. And I am very happy for Professor Venkat, who has uh, at least made that first step of having an LLM in construction law. It means a lot. Because in 2015, on the 100th anniversary of Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, they developed something called the London Principles, which is all about uh, choosing the preferred seats of arbitration. Uh, now, the preferred seat of arbitration now has an extended word of efficient, effective, efficient, and a safe seat. In that also, 10 parameters were found in these London Principles, in which first is modern arbitration law, unicitral model of laws, the independent judiciary, enforceability of awards, legal expertise. Now, from four is the responsibility of SEL. I would say that it will be the SEL's responsibility to take this to the next level in the sense that legal expertise, we have to get that legal expertise in this country. Sound legal education system, the LLM in construction law is the first step. Right of representation, accessibility and safety, good logistical support and facilities, professional norms and ethics, immunity for arbitrators. So all of this needs to find its place in policy. And that is where SEL, in addition to these conferences and bringing in awareness, we should also uh, positively work towards changing policies in India, engaging with the governments, changing those policies, engaging with the judiciary, informing them the importance of finality of arbitral awards. Because when again I think about Delhi Metro case, I'm thinking from a domestic perspective between miscarriage of justice, between miscarriage of justice and finality of an award, 
what is more important? I have no doubts in my mind that justice cannot be miscarried. And when it happens, we need to see that in five levels of appeals after the final arbitral award, there has been that miscarriage that shows that we need to bring in training as well. And uh, anyway, uh, Advocate uh, Ratan Singh has already pointed out and spoken that we should start training judges as well uh, in the field of construction law and even arbitration law so that we can ensure effectively that the, the policies change and the judiciary is also aware about the importance of the finality of arbitral awards and why while deciding these cases, we should have the larger picture. So with this, I would like to uh, close uh, my speech on this subject and call upon SEL to start looking at the policy and uh, uh, the, the training for the higher judiciary as regards uh, arbitration. Thank you so much.